just going back and looking at WrestleMania, the card, and let me tell you, I really wasn't a fan of the Lesnar versus Reigns match. Uh, it might have been, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Let me explain, okay? I, I know what the WWE is trying to do, Roman Reigns, but with, honestly, guys, is Roman Reigns, and now suspension of disbelief, obviously, okay? Let's keep that in mind. Uh, yes, suspension of disbelief. Uh, is Roman Reigns superhuman uh, that he can take all those finishers and still kick out? Suggesting that we're supposed to believe that can happen based on the fact that most of us have been watching for watching for many years wrestling is insulting really i mean there's no logic to it other than the wwe is trying to uh lay it on us force it on us uh that reigns is supposed to be tougher than anyone uh that there's ever been wrestlers kick out of finishers Far too much now. Been the case for a few years now. And these finishers are not even uh, big moves that they used to be. At least what uh, that's what the announcers are portraying them as sometimes. But that WrestleMania match between Lesnar and uh, Reigns was just silly. And listen, when you even look at the Superman punch, <laughs> you look at it is a bad finisher. Uh, it is a bad finisher, and should be nothing more than a setup move for a harder hitting type of wrestling finisher. And you know, that, and that's an example of kind of like of a bad finishing move that that really seemed no bigger than any other regular move. But now the F five is a move you can believe is hard to kick out of. Anyone kicking out of it. After any more than one, well, it, it discredits it, even it, it, it something. It discredits uh, the the whole concept of the finishing move. It should be an absolute shock when someone kicks out from one, and WWE may have lost that shock by doing it too often now. Hope all is well.